Ladies and gentlemen, Silent Mike, back with another video with my special guest. Maybe not the most jacked on YouTube. No. But the most handsome fitness YouTuber to ever grace your Mac or PC. Omar Isoff, Oh My Ass Off, uh, Oh My Jerk Off. There's a lot of variations going Obar on. Omar is buffing. Is I, I just want to correct you. I'm actually the second most handsome uh, YouTuber after uh, Low Carb Corey. The fitness YouTuber who, who uh, most people won't remember. He uh, filmed himself taking a shit and... Uh, Got deleted? That's, that's it. That's all she wrote. Well, maybe you're the, the second most handsome, but first smartest since you didn't film yourself in the bathroom to get deleted. I was going to do it, Mike. Well, you should. And then he did it first. Oh, he stole your idea. Mm -hmm. So he's a liar, a cheater, and he's dirty. And a pumpkin eater. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about squat depth. Now, yes, everyone may say, we know squat depth. We know squat depth. Hip below parallel. That's all you need. Powerlifting standards. Do what works right for you. There's a lot of different variations because yeah. we need to talk about um, context. We need to talk about the people we're speaking to, and which may be a wide variety on this channel. Some people might just want big quads. Some people no. may compete in powerlifting. Mm -hmm. Some people, some new people, may sure. be into weightlifting. Ooh. The clean and jerk, the snatch. Hey, now. And how should you squat from that? Do you have to go ATG ass to grass or it's not a real squat? Um, sure. And this, and this is mostly talking about the back barbell squat, starter off, squat depth. What do we need? What are you looking for? Fan. Fantastic question. I think the short answer to that would be it depends upon your goal. And so it's goal specific. And then your body will largely determine ultimately your maximum squat depth. But I think most people when they first start squatting, they can get lower through mobility through honestly just practicing the skill. The best way and one of the best things I recommend for most people is just one of those shout out to Greg Knuckles, the breathing pause squat at the bottom, where you do 10 breaths at the bottom of the squat, just you start with a bar, nothing crazy, and you get comfortable around there, uh, you know, working on that uh, abdominal pressure, you're working on thoracic uh, a kind of strength. So you're keeping an upright position, you're breathing through the core, um, working on your bracing will allow you to get deeper over time however i think you should never squat lower than your actual mobility with proper technique allows and so it ultimately also depends on the type of squat you do so i would say for some people and i've noticed this when they do the low bar squat and they don't have either uh, thoracic mobility or their shoulder mobility so they don't have it the ability so they'll try and low bar squat but they don't have the external rotation necessary in the shoulders so they'll puff their chest out kind of peacock style and as a result of that when you extend too much with one area of your spine then your lower lumbar area will tuck. And so you'll get a little bit of that butt wink. Now, is a butt wink inherently bad? Not necessarily, but on some people, on some bodies, it definitely, especially under load, um, you don't, you probably don't want that. And so again, that's why I want to say it's individual specific, but you can work on it over time. And I would say you need the proper depth for your goal. So a weightlifter by and large will need a squat lower than a powerlifter because when you catch the clean, if we're talking about a front squat variation, you'd want a front squat basically where you'd bottom out on a clean. Now there are some people, Ben Claridad, someone that you train with is an individual who will uh, squat higher than when he catches a clean but he's also just really strong he also just doesn't catch a clean as low as some yeah. he's a big old boy yeah and he actually has so much musculature it probably is harder for him to get down and so i don't think there should be you know any nobility in you squatting lower than someone else as long as it's at least i'd say to parallel and that's why a lot there's a difference between trainers who have actually trained clients and I made a video about this where if you're middle age and you're coming from the office and you've never squatted before you're actually probably squatting above parallel and yeah. that's probably exactly where you should be um, for at least several months and so on those individuals working on a box squat variation working on gradually lowering depth working on the cues of feeling your hips sitting down opening up the hips, pushing the knees forward over time becomes important. But the overall statement I would make is that you should squat to a depth where your technique is on point and you should go as low as possible. I would say, unless your goal is specific to sports. So let's say you're a powerlifter, in which case you want to go just below parallel, but squat as low as you can with good technique. And most people that's around parallel to just below parallel. 
Yeah, even for powerlifters, I think, you know, again, we talk gen pop. You want to go as far as you can control, stay tight, yep. and be under control of the movement. So some may be a barbell back squat, but if you're a trainer out there, you know, a great variation is the box squat. Yep. Another great variation for gen pop is um, uh, the goblet squat. Yep. Sometimes when you're front yeah, loaded, oh yeah. it's a little easier to go in depth. And same yeah. with the high bar squat, yep. a little easier to yep. go in depth than the low bar. Not saying one's better than the other, but for the gen pop, that might be a good start. For the weightlifter, again, maybe even the weightlifter and the bodybuilder mm -hmm. or aesthetic bras uh we want to get uh, a lot of load stimulus in a greater range of motion the more greater range of motion perhaps the more muscle fibers mm -hmm. for the maps more gains we get so um there's maybe a reason if you're a bodybuilder to squat full range rather than quarter and again with powerlifting, a lot of morphology which omar talked about how you're built is going to dictate not only what it looks like but how deep you can go and the th other factor with depth and especially powerlifting, weightlifting squatting is interesting especially the back uh the back squat because it is really an accessory movement. Mm -hmm. The back squat is to weightlifting as maybe the row or the chin up is to powerlifting in sure. a way, right? Uh, that's just a random reference. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the idea that it is definitely a secondary movement, that yeah. the goal is to improve the primary movement. And so it can really, really help. Jerk. Like it's almost necessary to do yeah. some kind of back for a powerlifter guaranteed to do some kind of back squat for a weightlifter. Um, the powerlifter uh, morphology, hitting depth because that's the rule, hip below um, the top of your knee. Yeah. But third uh, thing is pacing. Some people, as the weights get heavier, the breathing squat's a great way to start building up confidence in the hole. Yeah. But as you start an, uh, adding load, a lot of people will cut short because they're scared. There's no, a little yeah. bit of a, like, a roller coaster feel to hit that depth. Yeah. And the biggest thing to me, is I call it pacing or rhythm. Finding a flow and control, be quick but don't hurry is something I use. Yep. Move as fast as you can while maintaining control all the way to depth, all the way up. Yeah, I was going to say that uh, I've never noticed an individual pretty much who as the weight gets heavier and heavier will squat faster on the way down. Yeah, you know? yeah. Uh, pretty much people get yeah. a little bit more hesitant. Maybe so, maybe yeah. at the highest level. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. guys, because they know the control. They're they know the in. rebound they need. Yeah. Yeah. So staying tight, uh, practicing good form, I would say that's a really good point about anterior loading. So for people that just want to feel it out, feeling what bracing actually means, because it's kind of that word that coaches will throw uh, around. But a practical way is to start with some planks before you do any squats. And then uh, in terms of anterior loading, Jordan Shallow actually has a good one, the counter squat, he calls your counterbalance. So you instead of just a goblet squat, you hold it out in front of you. And so that's even more anterior. Five, and then, uh, five yeah. to 25 pound plate. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then a anterior loaded one in the form of a goblet squat. The uh, breathing pause squat will work on your torso rigidity. I could say for myself, I am someone who is naturally not that mobile. But I have been able over time just to work on that stuff where, you know, you see some people, uh, as an example, I see uh, the way, like, let's say an Allen Thrall uh, squats, right? And just the way his hip mechanics move, I'm like, that boy's meant to squat. Yeah, you yeah. Know? His femur's a little shorter. Maybe yeah. it's just a hair easier. Yeah. It comes a little more natural. I'm a sprinter. Okay, yeah. you only have to look at the calves. Yeah, a little longer legs. <laughs> but uh, when I first started squatting, my hips jammed up. And yeah. actually, the first time I squatted low bar, um, and I was told I was getting good coaching, but my hip socket actually felt like yeah. it was getting jammed into one another. Yeah, some like, people just uh, can't hit depth yeah. in certain stances if they're too wide, yeah. maybe too narrow. Yeah, so don't be dead set on your way and don't form an identity based on your squat. Well, sure. I'm a low bar squat. I only squat this way. You know, it's like you actually experimenting over time and working on that mobility for your morphology. I do like that breathing pause squat really for the torso rigidity so just feeling comfortable down there or where people might feel too shaky and so subconsciously uh, subconsciously they squat higher i think is a good idea ladies and gentlemen atg hit parallel figure it out for yourself there's some tips omar isov you know who he is you know where to find him link in the description appreciate you catch you in the next one